go! Real quick, guys, I want to give you some big news. Your boy is headed to Canada. I'm leaving today, actually, Sunday, when this video goes up. Taking a buddy with me, and we're driving all the way up to Saskatchewan. Uh, we're going up to hunt with my boy Cole and Whitey. I'm sure you've been watching Cole Townsend's videos. They've been tearing them up, and there's a cold front ro rolling in this week, and it's shoving in a bunch of juvenile raw snow geese, a bunch of new ducks, honkers, and speckle bellies. I'm going to be there all week hunting, so be looking forward and be looking out for the videos to come. I will be editing and uploading videos while I'm up there. I'm very excited. Haven't been to Canada for a long time. Let's get into the public hunt. Thank you all for always being here. <laughs> Let's see your shoes. Oh, the old leather boots today. Waiter should have been a good idea. I know, this morning. I thought it'd just be a mud puddle back here. I did too. I did not imagine that there would be this much water. Go! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are uh, 767 yards in on a little public walk-in. Um, I brought the kids out yesterday and scouted some public and uh, sure enough there was there was thank you thank you to whoever you were uh, hunting back here uh, you showed me where the, the hole was not gonna lie snaking you a little bit but um, there's a lot more water here than I figured a um, little bit of flooded corn uh, we're not in the flooded corn we're up on the dike trying to stay dry G wagon his his feet are already smoked. He did not put on the muck boots, nor did we put on waders. Now we know. Oh, hi Fred, sit. Sit. Hi there, how are you? He don't know what to think. He's like, Dad, it's been a while. I'm still pretty fat, not gonna lie. Trying to get him to lose some weight. You're a good looking dog. But today, uh, today's video is sponsored by Otis Shotguns. This is a horrible view of it, and I'll show you better in the daylight. A lot of y'all have already seen these guns. G-Wagon, he's rocking his Otis as well. OtisArms.com. Guys, use code BOB25. Uh, it will save you 25% off on Otis shotguns. Uh, I would not be repping them this hard if I truly didn't believe in the shotgun. Um, I call it the Cadillac. It, it operates like a Cadillac. It feels like a Cadillac. Just a hair heavier than an SB3. More like an SB2, wouldn't you say? Yeah, right. I, and that's what I'm getting at. Just a hair heavier, but in a good way. Uh, it's got the spring assisted shoulder pad there, carbon fiber. This is the this is the carbon elite model. They have probably 10 or 12 different models, different color schemes, all anodized up for you. Uh, the front sight is a rechargeable via USB port, uh, illuminated sight on the front. And uh, they're just quality shotguns. You will save 450 bucks off if you use code BOB25 at checkout. OtisArms.com. They are linked at the top of the description below. Go check them out. See what all they have. If you've been wanting a new shotgun, I would highly, highly recommend one. But it is 628. What do we got? 22 minutes. We got here plenty early. We wanted to beat anybody. I came and scouted this yesterday. There was four groups of hunters. Huh. Huh? There's only one truck here. Yeah, on the big pool. Um, there was four groups of hunters on a Monday evening. So it was either because there was birds here or people got off work and they were bored. I don't know. Fred, that's going to be hard to find. I premature fired there. That was an accidental. One down, we're gonna have to find this guy. Hopefully Fred's on him. Boy howdy, it's still dark. Fred. Wow, I pulled up a little too hard. Here, heel. So heel. 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 Dead bird.
Fred. Oh, that's not him. Fred. Dead bird. Now, Fred. Fred. Fred, sit. Dead bird. That's going to be a struggle to find him. Fred, dead bird. I think he's over this way. Dead bird. Fred, heel. 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 Right here, heel. Dead bird. Well, dead bird. Fetch him up. Hunt him up. Fred, dead bird. Dead bird. Fell right here somewhere. We're gonna keep looking. Yeah, good dog. Found him. Blue winger, baby. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. He was right, right up here in the grass. Good boy. Come on. Everybody got to give a thumbs up for Frederick. That was a heck of a find. Good job, buddy. Oh, there's a gunshot. First ones there. Boy, don't do what I did. I kind of panicked, freaked out, and pulled my gun a little too hard and fast. Clicked it off safety a little too fast, what I did. A little rusty, a little rusty. Got to take my time here. Just a reminder, y'all. Just a reminder to y'all, take your time, be safe. <laughs> Telling myself the same thing. Old blue winger. Yeah. Good deal. Was it still alive? No. He dropped dead. Good boy. That's a good dog. Fred Hill. Good boy, man. He is happier than all get out. Big boys. Oh really? Yeah, so I came back. There's some flying right out in front of us. Yeah. I didn't know he said shoot that one. I'm like, Ugh! I panicked. <laughs> panicked and freaking pulled up like an idiot. I wonder what that truck's doing over there with his lights on. You got a leg hanging. Oh. <laughs> Cut. Okay. Oh man, that's a hard shot. They were boogieing. Yeah, that one's tough. They did not land. They were just a cruising right there. Jeez. Swing and a miss. Oh, jeez, Fred. Dead bird. I don't think he's seen it at all. Oh, yeah, it's right there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fred. He can't see very well out there. Is that your bird? Uh, I think I got it. Yeah. Fred here. Watch it be banded. <laughs> God. I could not. I was behind him every time. Heel. Heel. All right. Up right here on your right. You got to look at where the bird falls, man. Come on, dude. Fred. 
What's that? Brad! Brad! Brad, dead bird! Brad! Here! Heel. Dead bird! Good boy. This is our setup. Uh, just a little alley of water. It takes a T right here. Good boy, here. Drop. No band. Got a dozen floaters out, two spinners, one's getting ready to die. We're off the edge of the water probably, I don't know, 15 yards. So when they're out here swooping by, man, it's a tough shot. Good boy. Two birds down. Get. Get. Go. Splash water in my boots. I'm going to mess you up, man. Says Gerald, who he's up to, wet up to his knees. Not too bad. Blue winger. Oh, yeah. Wrung his neck a little too hard. <laughs> no way, Bob. You'd never do something like that. Uh, he actually decoyed pretty good. Mm -hmm. He was backpedaling on it. I couldn't, man. That's, that's a pretty stiff shot. It's pretty far. All right, two on the board. Well, earlier I said, what's the white truck with his lights doing? Well, they're setting up right in front of us. As we speak, at what time is it? 7.36 is when they decided to walk in and sit their happy ass down. Right in front of us. How many yards is that? 200. 200. 200. It's, yeah, they're quite a ways away. Hey, public land's public land, I guess, right? See how this goes. Looks like they have a Springer Spaniel just going absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Going <nuts. laughs> it's running back and forth. White dog losing its mind. Two old boys out here. Can't blame them for wanting to come out. I used to be the guy, son of a, and they're probably 200 yards away. It could be worse. I've had a lot worse on public actually. A lot worse. More shore birds just giving it up in the hole. Coming back around. Oh yeah. Try them there. Yep. One. We got one. One. Dude, I just took the GoPro off of my head and they went <laughs> zoop. All right, Fred, we got some work. Here, let's go. Yep. Heel. God. Hope I got that on camera. Heel, heel, heel. Fred, dead bird. Dead bird. Fred, 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 back. Dead bird. Gotta go farther than that, buddy. You're almost there. Fred, back. Keep going, keep going, back. There we go. Good job. Good boy. That was a long shot. Good boy. This is where we're coming next time. You get to be right by the water. It's dry. Good boy here. Good boy here. Here. 
strap. Good. Heck yeah. Another blue winger. He's a little younger. Man, I just took my GoPro off my head. Because we haven't seen anything for an hour, probably. And here comes a five pack right over our shoulder. Good boy. They went way out there and came right back to the mojo. Almost. Yeah. It's a younger blue winger. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Good for them bacon wrap pop daddies. Well, figured I'd show you guys a little more of the situation. It is 8.13. That's the first teal flock at all. How long has it been? An hour? At least. Probably an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going here. Uh, like I said, the spinner's out here quite a ways. It's probably 20 yards to the edge of the water. So they were past a little bit probably at 35 yards oh right right single single right there he just got up from over here what the heck where'd you come from dude anyways you can see see this strip here all this out here is all flooded corn all of it and i think next time it'd be good to bring some marsh stools sit on the other side of them weeds right there Put the decoys and the spinner in the corn. It's kind of where stays. birds of, huh? If the water stays. Yeah, if the water stays. I bet it will. But, pretty neat. Pretty neat little setup. I knew it'd be cool back here, but I didn't think it'd be this cool. Those dang comorants, whatever they are, didn't give a crap about us shooting. They're just no. still hanging out like turkeys over there. <laughs> Alrighty then, it is 8.45. We're gonna call her there, I guess. Get to picking up. Go get us a breakfast burrito. We're hungry. Here's the pool. They mowed it really good, nice and long. But out here is the uh, cut corn, flooded pretty well. Pretty neat little setup out here. My old cheap Walmart decoys never hurt nobody. It's one thing about teal, man. You don't need a bunch of expensive stuff. Bring what you got. Doesn't take a lot of spiffy tools or anything, you know. One thing I do wish we had today, wish we would have carried in some seats of some sort to sit on. That would have been nice. But I had no idea of the situation out here. It's my first time ever hunting back in here. Now we know. Waiters would be good too. That'd be a good idea. He's just, he's boots, you know. He's knee deep water here. No muck boots or anything. Leave it up to G-Wagon. Thank God it isn't too cold. Minimalist. Yeah, you are a minimalist for sure. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There they are. Give them a little tie up. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all have always asked why you tie them. You tie them as low as you can so you don't get as many uh, tangled up. Because the worst thing to deal with is trying to get these things untangled when it's dark out first thing in the morning the worst yeah oh yeah he does blend in <laughs> i'm peeing dad leave me alone look at him dang guy i knew last night laying in bed that this was gonna happen to you 100 percent. I, I knew it old minimalist girl Cleaning the old tootsies. 
old Fred enjoyed the morning. We'll have to come back out here this week. Now that we know the layout, I feel like we could bring the right gear, go to the right spot. I don't think I wouldn't necessarily say do better, but be a little more comfy with a little closer shooting. You yeah. know? I really think that bush right there, early in the morning, there's a decent amount there. Yeah, they're There's just not like a ton around right now. Yeah, early in the morning they were they were wanting to land in the corn there. Real quickly, y'all, uh, what we are shooting today, I'll show you here. If you all haven't seen it, now you have. The shots ammo, uh, shots. This is our go-to um, ammunition here. Big shout out to shots for always hooking us up. This is their two and three quarter steel number four ounce and a quarter 1500 feet per second perfect for the small birds man um i'm really liking them they're they are thunder from down under right there if you use code bob at checkout save you some money at shotsammo.com as well it's always linked down below give them a go uh hand built here in the states american made every shell is touched multiple times it's a custom shell um and the price very comparable. very comparable very comparable to all the other big name brands oh been sitting here editing i got stuff everywhere packing for canada huh, finally found my passport haven't had to have my passport since the last time since i went to alaska so finally found it good to go <laughs> but i gotta get guns packed shells packed clothes packed uh everything packed then i have to coach my son's flag football team today and then right after that we are rolling out and headed north probably going to try to make it five or six hours uh tonight stay in a hotel and then get there uh monday hopefully around midday so uh cole and whitey little scout report up there they've got three feeds locked down for us as we speak um and more birds they were very excited yesterday on the phone they're like bob new birds are just rolling in uh outrunning this cold front that's going to be sitting in up there tonight so extremely excited um have not been up north in a long time and i haven't been up north this late in the season usually the only two times i've ever been to canada was in september around the 20th 19th 21st of september so uh it being almost like october here a little bit later we'll get a better push of birds a better experience and some phenomenal hunting so be ready for those videos. I have to get off here. I'm going to upload this video for you and finish packing before football. Go Chiefs, baby. Come on. Come on. All you haters out there, I'm sorry. I was born and raised a Chiefs fan. I'll die one. Uh, but we'll see you guys in Canada. Thank you all for being here and subscribe if you haven't.